Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And this is my first impressions look on the Li Ning CJ2. So this is CJ McCollum's second signature shoe with Li Ning. And uh, I actually, this shoe has been out for a little bit, you know, but I finally got my hands on a pair. And this colorway is pretty damn sick, right? And overall, this shoe looks great. So Li Ning makes some amazing looking shoes. I don't know who the designer is, uh, or the designers are, but it, honestly, all of their shoes look really, really good in my personal opinion. This shoe is retailing for 130 bucks, which is a pretty damn good price. So if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave a link in the description box, but let's get it started right off with the Tractiones. And in this colorway, we have a mix of colors, right? So we have a solid white rubber uh, here, kind of like in the forefoot and mainly in the midfoot, and then kind of like halving that midfoot and heel, we have a black rubber outsole, right? And it kind of, the, the pattern kind of reminds me of like sound waves kind of, right? A little bit of a sound wave pattern going on. And uh, at the edges of the sound wave, it's kind of like nubby. You know, it's pretty damn soft and it moves pretty easily with when I'm like kind of pushing with my finger. But also this, this groove design kind of reminds me of the Kyrie 5. You guys remember that? The Kyrie 5, there's some like numbers here probably uh, representing something in CJ's life. Uh, as far as the traction goes, how does the traction feel? Oh my goodness, guys, on my wood floors, the traction feels absolutely freaking amazing. As an amazing bite, doesn't really seem like it's picking up that much dust either. Like when you look at the grooves, it's not that close together. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna pick up that much dust or dirt uh, or trap it at least, right? Which is of course a good thing. And also has a very nice loud and high pitched squeak, which of course has nothing to do with performance, right? But I, I feel like most people like to have a nice little squeak, you know what I mean? So, yeah. The traction is feeling super duper good so far. As far as the durability goes, however, durability, I mean, it's a Chinese company. You know, Chinese companies usually make very durable outsoles because their demographic is usually uh, like Chinese players, I uh, mostly play on outdoor courts, I heard. So uh, they usually make it very durable. However, like I said, on the edges, it's a little bit nubby, but I guess it's only on the edges, right? Of the sound waves or whatever. So uh, other than that, like it's a pretty thick and hard rubber, like in the middle. So I feel like durability, like if you're playing on outdoor court, should be probably better than average, you know what I mean? Uh, and also a nice little bonus is there is a little bit of an outsole curvature. It reminds you a little bit more of like the newer Kyries, right? So if you uh, like really like the Kyrie 2, 3, and 4 where, where there was a crazy outsole curvature, it doesn't feel like that. It feels a little bit more similar to like the Kyrie 5, Kyrie 6, Kyrie 7, where it's a little bit flatter, but you have a nice rounded shape pretty much right at the edge where like where, where the ball of your foot is. And also we have a good amount of you know, uh, of the rubber also coming up here on the medial side. So you have better grip when you're doing these types of movements. So that is a very, very nice little bonus. I really like alto curvature. So that you can actually feel it. It's pretty apparent. It's just not as crazy as like the Kyrie 2, 3, and 4, right? So uh, the outsole is feeling really, really good so far. I really like it. And moving on to the heel to toe transition, also feeling very, very smooth, right? So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape and pretty much fully exposed midsole, right? Super duper soft, it's very, very comfortable here in the heel. And then the forefoot, we have a crazy curve. Look at that, crazy curve shape and a lot and a lot of forefoot flex, right? This is all cage. This is all cage, but it's a pretty soft plastic. So it doesn't really hinder the flexibility of the sole. It's actually super duper flexible. So overall heel to toe transition feels really, really good. But also we have this midfoot shape plate. Right, so uh, it doesn't really bend at all here in the midfoot. So I really like how the heel to toe transition feels so far. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. The cushioning setup also feels really, really nice here in, this, uh, in the CJ2. So uh, Leaning, of course, owns Way of Weight, right? But they pretty much use like the same technology, like Cloud and Boom. And that's what the CJ2 is uh, using as well. However, this is pretty much one of the most cushioned setups that I felt pretty much uh, from like leaning and also from a uh, way of weight, right? So pretty much we have full length boom and you can see the boom right here, right? Boom is a very, very low density. So it's a very lightweight foam. And also it's bouncy and very, very soft. It's one of the reasons why I really like boom. So it's pretty much full length boom right underneath your foot. And then it, it's pretty much like a carrier, but they're saying it's light foam here in the heel, right? So you guys can see uh, this It's also this gold part they just cut pretty much like painted over it, but it's this gold part and also this black part. And it's actually really, really soft, right? Uh, one thing though, is that the court feel doesn't seem the best, 
I know uh, you do feel a little bit high up off the ground. Nothing terrible. It doesn't feel terrible or anything, but it doesn't feel uh, like really good for court feel. Uh, but it does feel really, really well cushioned, right? So here in the heel, as you guys can see, it is a little cage, right? We had this part is plastic, and also obviously all of this is plastic as well. But it's also like I said, a very like soft. It's a softer type of plastic, so it doesn't feel super stiff or anything. Uh, so we have a good amount of compression here in the heel, which feels very soft. So impact protection feels like it's going to be very, very good. And then also another thing that I really, really like about the cushioning setup is one, the insole. The insole is really well cushioned. Like there's a lot and a lot of foam and cushiness, especially in the heel. There seems to be a crash pad here in the heel. So stepping comfort from the insole is really, really nice. But as you guys all know, insoles do bottom out. So it's not um, amazing, right? And so I don't really care all too much just because in like a couple months, it does bottom out. But however, however, there is a full length soft mesh strobo board, which feels freaking amazing, right? And you guys can see the full length boom right underneath uh, the, the insole, right? So uh, the step and comfort is really, really nice, you know? So uh, the cushioning setup feels really good, especially only for 130 bucks, right? Step and comfort, amazing. Uh, the, I guess the only bad thing right now is the core feel, but like I said, it's not terrible. Uh, and it's just a really comfortable cushioning setup right now. So I feel like most people will enjoy it, I guess, besides if you want really good core feel, right? So there is the cushioning setup there. Moving on to the material. So the material, we pretty much have like a, like a screen mesh, right? And it's, it's like a plastic screen mesh. They're just basically using plastic and synthetic materials, but look, it's really, really thin, right? Super duper thin, it conforms your foot extremely well, and also ventilation seems really good. There's a lot of airflow through this. And then, uh, kind of like around the toe box right here, we do have some underlaying like fuse material to strengthen and kind of like add durability to this like toe box. And then also uh, for the first two eyelets and also the kind of like the last two besides this one, we do have some like cables, right? So it does go down into the material. So uh, the eyelets go through it. And once you tighten the laces, it kind of like tightens over your foot a little bit. Also, uh, we have a, a little bit of a strap as well. I don't know if you guys can see, but right here on the lateral and medial side, the laces go through this. And once you tighten this, it kind of like tightens over your foot as well right over here. Uh, so this lacing system is also pretty damn nice. Uh, also, the midfoot is actually pretty damn supportive. It's, it's actually kind of stiff. It's a thin material, but kind of stiff because of all uh, everything that's going on right here, right? As far as the tongue goes, so uh, it's made of like pretty much a mesh material and that there is a little bit of padding, kind of, but uh, for the most part, it's a pretty like it doesn't have that much padding. Like there's a little bit of padding here on top of the tongue. It's also a half booty construction tongue giving you a better overall one-to-one -one fit. And then here in the ankle areas, like on the sides is very minimal, right? There's not a whole lot of padding, but like it does feel pretty nice and plush. And then here in the ankle area, it's pretty minimal as well. But the, like the foam that they're using is kind of like really, really soft, right? So I do like how that feels as well. So overall, as far as the like quality goes, obviously it's not the best. I don't know, especially for 130 bucks, but uh, it, it does feel minimal. It does feel overall supportive as well. So to be honest, I like how it feels on foot. It's just not the best uh, for quality, right? Now also, what is this? What does this do? This doesn't do anything. You know, you have a high heel tab. It's already easy to put on. So I don't know, this doesn't really do anything. But anyways, <laughs> there's that. Moving on to the fit. So I went, uh, I went up half a size and it fits me extremely well, right? Uh, so I would say lengthwise, there is a tiny bit of length, just a tiny bit. But I feel like if I went down half a size, it'll be a little too snug lengthwise. So I feel like most people, you should be good to go going uh, up half a size, right? If you want a really snug fit lengthwise, then I guess go true to size. But for most people, I would say go up half a size like I did. Also, uh, width wise, it is kind of narrow, right? Uh, it, it looks like a pretty wide fit, but like I could feel this plastic part kind of like squeezing the side of my foot just a tiny bit. So I would say it's like a normal to like slightly narrow. And if you have a wide foot, I would suggest going up a full size, right? And then also here in the toe box, I would say it's slightly snug, like a normal, normal snugness, I would say. So not super snug, not super roomy. So it's not too bad for me personally. Uh, so overall, the fit, I went up half a size and fits me pretty damn well. And now moving on to the support and lockdown, it feels like it's gonna be very, very good, right? So coupling like the very supportive material, especially here in the midfoot, we have, a uh, here in the forefoot, this plastic cage coming up, acting as a sidewall, right? So your, your foot is pretty much cupped in here in the forefoot, right? And then here in the heel, we do have a little bit of the foam coming up, acting as a sidewall. And we have an internal TPU heel counter with this crazy leaning logo, right? It's kind of like an overlay. 
Uh, so that'll stiffen up the material as well. So like lateral containment, like support feels really, really good. And also for lateral stability, look at that. Look at how <laughs> look at how wide it is. Look at how much it protrudes out here on, on the lateral side in the forefoot. So lateral stability feels like it's going to be good as well. Now moving on to the weight. I feel like this shoe's gonna be kind of heavy though. Actually, yeah, maybe like 12, 13 ounces, you know? Uh, yeah, 12.35 ounces. Let's check the other shoe. 12.3 ounces, right? So the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces. So it's just slightly lighter than average, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, but overall, yeah, it feels really nice. You know, if, if the traction is top tier, right? If it if there's no problems with dust, I feel like the traction is gonna be really, really good. Cushion feels really, it feels super soft and comfortable, but also like very responsive. It doesn't feel super mushy or anything like that. A uh, material overall does feel minimal and support feels great so far. So I really like how the shoe feels on foot. And also the addition of the outer curvature, that's a nice, a uh, really, really great bonus for me, right? Uh, and also aesthetically, like aesthetically, this shoe looks amazing, right? Uh, this colorway looks amazing. There's some of the other colorways that are out also look amazing as well. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yes, my first impressions of the CJ2 are freaking good so far. Uh, I'm very, very excited to play in these and just everything about this shoe. Like I really can't find something that I dislike about this shoe right now, right? And the price is amazing. It looks good. It feels really nice on foot so far so yeah the cj2 really really good first impressions right very very excited to play in but anyways that about concludes this video again if you guys do want to call up i try to leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one